welcome once again to Crunch Choice Kitchen. And if this is your first time stopping by, a very warm welcome to you. I hope you enjoyed enough to stay. To making some abeng kwai, mekwai, as all and kepun folk will call it. We have some prekese that is going to go in our soup, and it's, that is what like people back home call it what soup lavender. This is to give your soup some good aroma. And I don't make my my bang pie without this. As you can see, I'm getting my ingredients ready. It's going to have some crab, some fricasses, some mackerel, some snails. It is going to be very good. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you continue to like the pay the channel. I hope you continue to share the videos, and I hope that this is helpful to you today. So I'm getting my ingredients ready so we can proceed with this bang pie which we are going to have with some fufu today, you know, like how we do it. First day, when it's light enough, you have some fufu with it. The next time you have it, maybe some rice balls or some bangko because then it's a little thickened, you know. And of course, the next day, the next time, whatever, not, I'm not going to have it in succession, trust me. But the next, the third time I have it, it would have thickened even some more. And once a girl that I am, I'm going to have some abel crime with. Yes, some rice and palm nut soup. I love that. Or you could have yours with your yams or whatever you want. Some gari, some eba, gari, whatever. But trust me, this soup is going to be good. I hope you enjoy this video. Okay? Let's do some cooking. Okay, let's do some cooking. So this palm soup is going to be totally from scratch. The only thing that I didn't do is pound my own palm nuts. These nuts were pounded for me at home. My mom always makes this for me. And I bring it from Ghana in its frozen state and keep it in my freezer. So this is about two pounds of that. And I have my percase, also known as Aridan fruit. And like I said, they call it soup lavender, like just for jokes, you know, because it gives your soup some beautiful aroma. I have my inkitinkiti. You saw that by the percase. Just look at my beautiful palm nuts again. So beautiful. She has it pounded. They make sure they add some turkey berries, also known as abedru or kuunsusa. It is so good so good my abenkwa is always so flavorful because thanks to my dear mom i don't have to buy the palm you know the canned palm nuts but one day just for you guys i'll use that so you know how it works but it's the same i have some snails some dried mushrooms yes same my mom she goes she goes above and beyond for her kids so she sun dries mushrooms when they are in season for us i have my adrene oh yeah we're singing my mom's praise today yes mama gets everything from me i have my tomatoes my peppers and you could add, add as many as you want i have my blue crabs that is the kind of crab that I find that I'm used to. I don't see any other kind. So normally you'll see me using blue crabs. I have my oxtail and cow foot. You know where that came from, right? <laughs> my butcher. Yes, so this is not like the typical ones you find in the store that they've cleaned all the flavor of. This is like back home. It has that flavor. I have my onions and shallots and some ginger and all these i have weighed on my scale and i'm going to put the weights down below for you in the description box so i'm going to start off by pre-cooking my oxtail and the cow foot because you know it can be very hard and it takes forever to cook so i'm going to cook that for at least some 45 minutes before i proceed with my soup whilst i wait I'm blending my shallots that's all the shallots that I have I I'm using for the soup together with the ginger and any seed or inkitinkite and now we check in on our meat it is slightly softened and since I've been quite you know the palm soup cooks for a long time it will be okay for me to proceed by adding my other meats and then we'll start making our soup so that was my blue crabs and I remembered I have some turkey wings and I think that's a little piece of rabbit you know also a little smoke and that i've added to it and i have my snails sun-dried mushroom 
and I'm going to pour on it now my blended onion, ginger, and aniseed. And that is a teaspoon of salt that I've added. I think I'm going to eat, need a little bit more later. I don't know, but it's always to start with less than, you know. And remember that um, turkey wing is salted anyway, so that should be good. And I'm going to cover and let this cook. Now we are going to focus on getting the liquid out of this pump pump. So I have boiled some water and you could just get it from your tap if that is what you prefer. But I'm trying to save water. I don't want to run my hot water forever. Yeah, my silly, but when you pay water bills, <laughs> you have to do what is needful. And so it was some uh, hot water, you know, hot, but not too hot that I can dip my hands into it. And so I am um, trying to squeeze the the pulp now after I mixed it to extract all the juices from it and that is what we're going to be using for our soup I know most people nowadays are used to um, the canned one which is an easier way to do it but sometimes yes I prefer to go the long hard way so that I don't compromise on taste and so that is it at least somebody did the pounding for me and so now I am straining this over my fine strainer Boy, I can't believe how much life has changed these past few years, you know. There's so much technology. Life has become so easy on us now. Gone are the days when we had to pound. My sister and I would have to pound this for my mom to make soup. Well, we still do that, but at least, thank God, we have little kids around to help with that. But we've done this so many a time. Like, to me, this is it, like so much easier that I don't even have to do the pounding and i appreciate that and so you know this is still an easy way to go for me i know most of you would prefer the can but i am happy to have this and not do the pounding at least and so i put the pulp in again because i felt it still had some juices and i am i strained it another time with just a little bit of water and at this time i think i have had my money's worth you know all that excess luggage i carried i have to get my money's worth and i have had the worth now i have it all squeezed out and remember back in the day that pulp you would use it to what well, you smoke your part with it and it gave so, such good drinking water like kula musio it was so good yeah me free trio don't worry <laughs> so i have strained that again Oh, I'm straining that again just to make sure that I don't have any stray pops coming in my soup. We don't want that and we will not have that. So I am straining a second time just for that purpose. And then this is going to be good and ready to go into our soup. And you see there is nothing, but it's better to err on the side of caution. Now we pour this liquid onto our meats and... You can say that officially our banquet has started and it's going to smell so good around here. And I am just excited. This is the very last of my palm. So I can't wait for my mom to hook me up again. And so this soup, I'm going to worship it. I'm going to freeze whatever will be left after we eat today. And now I'm going to add my smoked fish, you know, the adrenaline. This is a huge one, but of course it's going to end up broken or get. It's very hard for me to keep my adrenaline intact. I don't know for what reason, but I still chose to put it in here now and not at the base, you know, to at the beginning of cooking the soup because it's going to fall apart, but I'm always hopeful that it wouldn't. <laughs> and now our soup is boiling. Smelling good, looking good. Now I'm going to add my Percocet to it. I cut it up and that, according to mama, is how you get the flavors and the aroma in your soup the more. You don't just put it in whole. You either cut it up or you hit the sides with a, you know, a knife. 
so it has some indentations on it and that helps extract all the flavors just look at the soup and I'm bringing out my tomatoes now and peppers and I'm going to blend this together with my onion remember the red onion that I left on the side plus like a third of the amount of ginger that I have that is always how I do it and it makes the soup flavorful like really that extra ginger and onion towards when it is cooked it does amazing and I've added my uh, mackerel my smoked mackerel and my salmon head these I always do it them myself I smoke my own and freeze and they go in my soups and sauces and I'm going to share with you how I do it if you follow me on Instagram I know I already have it in my story so whilst you wait you could always go to my Instagram stories and I have it I mean in my highlights it's highlighted there how I make my mackerel pretty easy and so the blended tomatoes onions and ginger are in my soup now and it looks thick it's only looking this thick because I can't really stare it the soup is so packed you know <laughs> I need a bigger saucepan but I I figured if I use a wide and bigger one it would be hard for you guys to get a good video so still works and I've been able to mix it so you see it's not as thick as you initially thought it was just that thick ginger tomato you know mix that was sitting on one side of the pot and the soup is almost done it's been cooking for exactly an hour and a half and now I am going to let it go simmering for another 15 minutes and we will be ready to have dinner and I can't wait to get that palm oil I don't know if you do that but I always extract my palm oils and a I am also adding some more peppers like I said I didn't want my kids burning their mouth but I could always you know smash some of these peppers in my soup if I think I need some more heat and so this is why I have extra peppers in here they're not getting blended and of course look my adrenaline is all what broken apart like it always does when I have it as big as that but hey the most important thing I put adrenaline in my soup just for flavor <laughs> not really to eat it anyway and look at me now I am going to get all that extra palm oil from the soup because you don't need that all, all of that oil to have your food but you could save that for another day and this I call liquid gold because there's no palm oil better than the one that you get from your abem quine and we I can't call it in quine oil and that is all we eat in our house because my parents have a school and they make a lot of palm nut soup there and we have a lot of oil anyway time for me to enjoy some fufu with my family and this one is not you know box fufu and it's not pounded as well this I made with blended cassava and plantain and it is just as good and hopefully one day I'll be able to have enough time to share the recipe with you and I know a lot of other youtubers have it here anyway so you could always look up no pound fufu and you should come up with a result there's another one that I normally make using my food processor and that I have my plantain and cassava bowl and you just use your food processor to do the pounding and I think it's better than this but my tiny little machine is about to fall apart and so I am trying to save it so I do this instead and look at our soup anyway everything is looking amazingly good it tastes amazing it smells divine I know my kids will enjoy this because they enjoy everything that is not to be chewed all the foods that you have to swallow that is what they like and I guess most kids are like that too and just look at this and now you can find your palm pulp sold in its frozen state in African markets and I even know that in Ghana some people make that and sell I've seen some on Instagram I'm just not sure of the names but I know you know already and you could follow that to make your soup from scratch 
use that and follow this i mean and this palm oil that i saved i am going to cook it over the stove like i'm doing now to make sure all the liquids have evaporated from it and that is good palm oil that i save in a jar and it's so good so amazingly good on your album so until i come your way next time with something delicious be loving be kind be happy